All right, good morning. We are in outside of Blythe, California, a little truck stop. Um, we just stopped real quick, take Callie out. We spent last night in Tonopah, uh, Arizona, TA truck stop. I had to stop and fix the uh, tail lights. A rat decided to uh, chew up my lights. Uh, if you guys follow me on uh, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, I did put up a little video fixing up those lights. Nothing big. But uh, let's take a look at uh, look at the truck. We'll take a look at our load. We're at the uh, what used to be an old uh, 76 truck stop. Let me see if I can get a little bit closer. You guys can see the sign here. But uh, yeah, you don't see too many of these signs. These used to be old 76 truck stop. Uh, I think I think TA ended up buying the 70 truck, truck stop long time ago but uh, there's the sunrise so pretty sunrise that's uh, that's east and we're heading west which would be that way and we got Cali dog oh come here Cali try not to make everybody dizzy we got Cali with us there she is she's out running around doing her thing um here's our load we got uh crane weights uh counter weights for the crane uh we got 40 45 000 pounds of uh weights we got uh the one small one in the back back there that one is 15 000 pounds and that one right there is 30 000 pounds and uh if you remember we put the little scale in uh, the truck we're sitting at right at 33,000 pounds on our drive axles. Uh, so we're we're legal, no problems there. But uh, these aren't too hard to chain down. Um, I got uh, a piece of securement on all four corners. And then I went ahead and put two straps on there. So uh, it doesn't look too bad. And I put one strap on here. So... But yeah, this one is 15,000 pounds, and that one should be 30,000. But uh, yeah, this old old truck stop is pretty nice out here. It's not too bad. But uh, let's see. There's the old 76 sign. And that's Interstate 10 right there. So, all right. Let me, uh, let me finish walking Cali and uh, take care of her. And then uh, we're gonna check the oil, check the truck out. We gotta climb some hills today. So we're gonna make sure everything looks good. And uh, we're gonna make our way um, around the top side of uh, Los Angeles there on 210. And we're on our way to San Jose is where we're going. So, all right, Callie needs to do a business. Uh, we'll talk to you in a bit, bye. All right, truck looks good. We got a cup of coffee. Had to put about a half a gallon of oil in the truck. That's the um, first time I've had to put oil in the truck since I got the truck. And that's been about almost 10,000 miles. So, uh, so that's not too bad. So we're going to make our way out of here. Out of the old War Down 76 truck stop. It's been, a, it's been a while since I've been here. The one thing about this place, they got a big parking lot out back too, is that you can get here late at night and uh, there is parking. They usually have parking. And then across the street, there's a little, another little tiny truck stop across the street there got parking and instead of a subway it has a sub day <laughs> so I think uh, I think it used to be a subway and now it is a sub day go get a sub day sandwich but all right uh, we're gonna make our way as soon as we get on the exit ramp the scale the first California scale is right right down the ramp so I don't know if it's open or closed, but uh, we'll take a look. 
I'll leave the camera on just in case they are open. But just about the time we get on the interstate, it's the scale. So, uh, but we're going to take uh, I-10 to 210, take that all the way around over to 5, and get on 5. Uh, we're going to stop in Wheeler Ridge, California. It's a big Petro truck stop there. And, uh, Get some more fuel. All right, the signs are flashing. It says all trucks stop at scales. So we'll go through the scales, see what happens. weight's legal. We're at 70, about 78.5 on our gross weight, 78,500 pounds. And then uh, we got 34, 33,000 on our drives. So um, we're in good shape. We're fine. We just got to get across the scale here. Looks like a big oversized load. yell at me on the speaker I can hear, it, hear them. I'm just looking at the sign see if they give me a red light to stop but there was a sign back there that says keep rolling on green and so far we have the green light I'm looking in the mirror and the last axle is off the scale so we'll let this car carrier get out of the way and we'll get in behind him So that was California scale. Uh, next big scale we're going to have is uh, banning. So, but uh, I checked everything. We should be fine. Everything on the truck is fine. That's one reason why I had to fix all those lights last night. Because uh, I just was not going to come into California with the bad lights. So, all right. I will talk to you guys in a bit. I was on a plane to California. I had all the time I'd ever need. Did you even know I was looking for you? I think that I was hiding in between. How long? I can make it if 
I ran Then I saw you walking out the back door Hand in hand with another man How long, how long, how long Did you wait for me?
gauges look pretty good. Alright, we're coming up over the crest here. Speeding up a little bit. put 88 gallons in um, we got three hours and 15 minutes left of driving today so um, I'm looking on the map here for about 150 miles from right where we're at to um, where we can stop so we're at the 220 so plus that'd be 370 and looks like there's a large truck stop two large truck stops at, uh, I don't know how to say the name of the town, Col, Col, Coling, Colinga, 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 uh, so we might make it to there, um, and then that'll put us probably about 100 miles out for tomorrow morning, so uh, we did get a reload um, out of California going to Detroit. So we're gonna pick that up tomorrow afternoon uh, and head over to Detroit. So uh, everything's going actually pretty good today. Not too bad. So let's uh, let's go ahead and knock out another three hours or so. A couple, uh, 100 miles, 150 miles. And then um, we'll uh, call it quits. But uh, Traffic wasn't too bad coming around uh, LA. I mean, we were kind of north of it. There was a little bit of stop and go, but nothing too crazy. Um, I gotta figure out what the name of that big hill or mountain that we came up and down. Um, I think, I wanna say El Cajon. That might be what it is. But, uh, all right, let's get out of here. This is a nice truck stop, um, fairly big. I think they've remodeled this place. It's been a long time since I've been here, but I think they've remodeled this place. And the Petro, you'll see once we make this turn up here, the Petro is on the other side of the interstate, and there's two exits. There's an A and the B, and I got off on exit A, which shoots off to the Petro or to the TA, and exit B goes over to the Petro. So, uh, I mean, it's no big different. So it's all right. It's all good, but uh, no, I'm excited. We got a reload for tomorrow, going to Detroit. We got to be in Detroit by Wednesday. So uh, we got a work cut out for us. But uh, let's see, and a big caterpillar place over here. I don't know what they make over there or what they import. But uh, let's see here. Trying to see if you can see the Petro. Let me uh, let me get up here and get around the corner here, and then you guys will see the Petro. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five fire trucks. Uh, I don't know if they're going down south. There's supposed to be some fires down around here somewhere. I don't know if they came from up north, but uh, those fires that you've been watching on the news up by California. They're, uh, they're going to be north of San Francisco. They're not going to uh, affect us. But uh, I don't know where those guys There's five there. There's another three over there. So there might be a fires running around here somewhere. I know the air is really smoky and foggy or hazy, I guess is the right word. 
And then uh, earlier, I passed a low boy. It was a fire uh, fire rescue with a low boy uh, with a bulldozer on it. So, oh, there's the Petro straight across the street right there. So that's the Petro on the other side of the interstate. So, all right, let's get rolling. We got about three more hours and then we'll be done for today. So uh, I'll talk to you when we stop. To a rest area here we got about a hundred miles to go for tomorrow morning all my uh, batteries and my cameras are dead so I'm sitting in the sleeper here I got the sleeper door open Callie's right there I just got done feeding her I wanted to show you my TV mount I did manage to get my TV mounted while I was home and uh, what I did let's see if you can see that bracket um, here let me turn it this way Maybe that'll work. If you can see, let's see, will it, is that bracket? Hang on a second. See that bracket right there? So I mounted a TV on the bracket right there. And uh, it, it swivels around. And then what I ended up doing was putting a back plate on it. Right back here. If you can see it. So there's a metal plate right there. Anyway, I really like it. It come out nice. So I'm laying in the bed. You can see the TV. So uh, they come out real nice. So um, today was a good day. Uh, we got quite a bit done uh, driving wise. Truck did real good. I did real good. Callie's doing good. So uh, I got to get ready to take her out. But uh, tomorrow is going to be a busy day. We're going to wake up about 6, go deliver our crane parts, uh, get reloaded, heading to Detroit. And got to be in Detroit on Wednesday. So uh, we lucked out by getting a load for Friday. So it's pretty good. All right. Let me take her out. And uh, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching.